everything comes from the darkness. This episode right here gave me so many memories because it was things that happened that made me flash back to when that stuff happened to me. All right. The first thing was the principal situation. Billy stepping up as principal. Now I was never the principal of a school, I ain't saying that. But Billy stepping up as principal, him seeing the effect that he having. Then bringing preach in. And you know, when they first go to preach, he he on the the uh, corner of the hallway, like, like he on the block. Like he standing there like, yo, what up? You know what I'm saying? And then uh Billy come up, preach go in that class, and they can relate to him. And then not only can they relate to him, they know he didn't been through it. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't been through everything. He from the streets, and now he didn't he didn't finally turn that corner, and he giving back, making a difference. Both of them is um, Billy and Laura talking about moving back there. That's that's big, man, and. Let's clap it up for Laura. <laughs> Yo, gotta clap it up for her. For her moving, how she moving. Like, when I watch Laura, the character, alright? The character on the show, when I watch her, I go, dog, that's what I want in the wife. How she be moving. She like, yo, I support you, man. You wanna go back to the hood? Come on, we go back to the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nothing. Let's go. So, you got a saluter for that, man. But uh, I really like Billy as the principal because when I was in high school, I swear for God, we had a principal. He was like, if you ever seen Lean on Me, he was exactly like that. Uh, principal Brown, I want to say, right? Dope principal. He used to run around chasing. I remember he chased me one time. He used to run around chasing kids and all this dope principal, you know, he made sure you was doing what you were supposed to be doing and he cared. The school I was at, Beaumont, Northside, St. Louis, it was, it was, you know, it was like a high school when I first got there. He left, school went straight downhill. I mean, like, like that. Within a year, we had lost our accreditation. Just like that, because our scores had dipped too low. Remember, lean on me, they was talking about the scores had to be a certain level. You know, that happened to us. And now, all the kids, we at high school, like, yo, what are we about to do with our life? Like, dog, don't nobody even accept our degree type. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that resonated with me with Billy being up there. Because he, he different from... Uh, the, the principal they had at Friday, I forgot Principal Carter, I think it's Carter, Principal Carter, you know, um, he different from him, because he from there, you know what I'm saying, I think he might be, Principal Carter might be from there too, but anywho, Billy is more like, you know what I'm saying, he like that, and the kids can relate to him more, and having somebody there, you know, Kerr, make a big difference, and I'm going to say this, right now, you go through these schools, Ain't a lot of black men. And if they are at the schools, they the janitor. You know what I'm saying? They <laughs> just be real. You know what I'm saying? They ain't the teachers. They ain't the, the principals. They ain't, you know what I mean, where people could see that. You know, that 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 help. That really help. You know, so um I like that. Next we gotta get into live in Spence. I mean we knew it was coming with with them because they it's an adjustment period. Now that time that they used to have, they ain't got that time no more. And then Spence going through it because head coach like, bro, I didn't want you. Like, I didn't want you. You know, you heard because, you know, the black coach stuck his neck out for you. I'm like, dang. I'm like, dang, they doing, they doing Spence dirty. He ain't even third string. He ain't on the death chart. Name ain't even on the board. So you know he frustrated because he always was the man. And Asher had to tell him, like, yo, dog, you did this to me. And took my girls. 
You know what I'm saying? So, and, and they almost had that conversation about it, but they, you know, it's cool. But, uh, Spence gonna have to work hard to get in them slots, and it take time. Liv got stuff going on, right? She trying to be a, a journalist. That's gonna take time. But then she still um, mentor Jen, which is dope, right? Because she young giving back at a young age. That's what make it like, you know, that's, that's, that's dope. To go through something with her drug problem, right? And realize, hold on. It's young girls going through this same thing. Let me go back and touch the community. That's what you're supposed to do. And uh, she doing it. So salute to her for that. But that take time. Salute to Jordan for staying by, you know, because without Jordan, hey, that thing, they might have been arguing for weeks. You know what I'm saying? He there, he for his sister, because um, he had a little more time on his hand. And then he set the play up for Spence to get back good. And this was the other part that uh, I could relate to. When Spence started meditating. Dog, I remember I was so frustrated, you know, super frustrated. I was on the ship. I'm, dog, you don't understand. You look out and you don't see nothing but water. And it's just you and some people in water, you know, you get frustrated out on that jump. My chief, shout out to Brissetta. Shout out to her. Because she, she was like, she sat me down. She said, yo, you need to start meditating. And then, uh... I got a book. I think she might have gave me a book. Somebody gave me a book. It might have been her. On Russell Simmons. No lie. It was Russell Simmons. He big into yoga and meditating and stuff like that. I read the book. The whole book was interesting. I read it. Plus, I was on the water. Wasn't nothing else. I, I wasn't going nowhere. I read the book. And then uh, I started meditating. And that started helping me. You know, helping me focus. Helping me, you know, just deal with frustration. So, when he did that and that helped him. Help them see things clear. I was like, yeah, that's what's up. We got to get back to that meditation. You know, I like that they threw that in there. And it related to me. You know, a lot of stuff be relating to me, though. But uh, that happened. And he came through strong, didn't he? Yeah. I spit game because, baby, I can't talk it. He came through with the uh, dinner set up. All nice. You know what I'm saying? Jordan ran to play for him. She come in. She, she, you know, she like, I don't want to be her. You know what I mean? She mad. Boom. She see that. Disarmed her. Instantly. She like, ah. He came up. Smooth. Smooth, brother. You know what I'm saying? Got things back right. That's what he was supposed to do. See, when, when you in a relationship like that, and you a man, you know you got a girl that you want. Right? And same thing, vice versa. You're a girl, you know you got a man that you want. Don't let that thing be mad for, for too long. You know what I mean? Don't do not do that for too long. I'm a person, I'll be mad five minutes. I'm, I'm not mad no more after that. You know, I get out of that. Don't be mad for weeks and two days then pass. You, you, you still mad while y'all having breakfast. and nah, Let it go. You know, do something to get it back right. Let it go. You know, so uh, Spence, you know, he stepped up and, and did what he was supposed to do. Got that thing back right. And while we own football, got to go to uh, Asher, right? Because J.J. ran a play for him. Got him back with uh, Coach Mr. Montez, right? So uh, Coach Montez's husband got him back right. And we knew Asher was going to be a coach, right? And been on the wall for a minute. And uh, he going to be working with J.J., be up there coaching, working with J.J., and all four of them in the same house. Then all the girls at the other house, which, you know, Billy and Laura, they like, they like, yo, son, <laughs> it's too many of them. They throwing out the good food, all that. You know, got to eat healthy, though. I got a uh, J.D. Vegan ice cream review coming up. Got to eat healthy. But, uh. Uh, they throwing out the good food. Then they just they just there, you know. And all of them like they kids now. You see Layla come up. She she about to tell them about her day. You know what I'm saying? So 
they really doing it by taking all them kids in too. You know, cause Laura, she being, a, she they lawyer too. You know, so yeah, they 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 doing the thing. Speaking of Layla though, she she really finding her direction with this uh music thing and the the. The artist that came in, the chick that's supposed to be the big artist, she came in, she she helping her, you know, find a way. You know, if you out there doing music, because I know I do hip-hop on it on this uh, channel too. Sometimes I do hip-hop reactions or I, I do the verses, uh, re recaps. You got to you gotta make your own way. Don't be out here trying to sound like nobody. God. that that That's all I heard now. I swear, everybody sound exactly the same. YFF, YFN, and Lucci, Dirt, you know, the Reds, the Sean, all them. They got like the NBA Young Boy. They, I know they them. They got a different voice, but this is like the same Roddy Rich. It's the same, you know that that same singy type. It's just I don't know. Everybody kind of sound. Some some of them stand out and be big. Don't don't get it twisted. Some of them do stand out, but you know you got Roddy Rich. You don't need uh, you know what I'm saying. So you gotta stand out, and I like that that uh, the artist she 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 helped Layla see that you know, and I can see Layla definitely owning something in the future season after that. Hopefully they don't. Go super long with it, make it like ten seasons. No, but maybe a season, the next season or the season after that, which should be the season or the series finale. Uh, you know, Layla should be somewhere doing that. You know, making making everything go for a whole label. Before we get out of here, the last big thing I gotta touch on is. The coup preach situation. Man, preach got something good going. But he got a few things working against him. Of course, Grace or whoever coming in to be the principal. I think it's Grace. Gonna come in and be principal. She don't want preach there. We see that already. Like, yo, he got a pass. Well, we gonna hold that against him forever. You know, even though. I mean, he did just knock somebody off. <laughs> the way and I'm like, yo, don't hold his past against him. He did just knock somebody off. His baby mama, by the way. But, but, good dude. Good brother. You know what I'm saying? Good spiritual brother. You know what I mean? Like, you know, good brother. But, um, you know, he, he got a good thing going up at the school. If Grace come in, she gonna try to get him out of there. But then he got this case. This case is coming. And it's coming fast. <laughs> you know, the detective already showing up. Somebody gotta take the fall for this. Unless they mishandle some evidence or, you know. Man, I don't know. Not even with Liv being a journalist and trying to spin it some way or something, you know, cause I can see that, I can see Liv coming in like, yo, you know, let me try to do my journalist thing to try to help y'all out, I don't even think that's gonna help, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, somebody gonna have to take the fall for it, man, unless they mishandle some evidence, and even though Preach was protecting Coop, He knocked her off, you know, so I can't see him letting Coop just really go to jail for that. Nah, I can't see it, you know what I'm saying? So I think Preach going to have to, he going to have to go back to jail for this, you know, unless maybe they could do self-defense, but even then they lied and hid the, I don't know, man. I don't know how they can get out of it. But y'all let me know what y'all think about all the situations. You know, Coop, Preach, Liv, Spence. He got that thing back right. Uh, Billy trying to be the principal. Grace trying to slide in there and be the principal. Uh, 
Spence with the football thing. You know, it's a lot going on. It, it's a lot going on. The series is is uh getting good, man. You know, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, out of all the series going right now, this last episode was impressive to me. You know, it's a lot of series going on, man. And then uh, other than that, yo, we will be bringing a stream in. I think I'm going to do it on Tuesdays where I'm going to start streaming. Just talk about all the different shows. If if you uh been rocking with me, come check it out. You know, and uh, yeah, man. Other than that, it's Mac the Guru. If you're still here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. Peace.